What's good, y'all? Welcome back on Wilson Made Takes. Uh, today we got shooters once again. We got one of the best spot up shooters in NBA history. Two of the best spot up shooters in NBA history. We got Ray Allen, Mr. Jesus Sutterworth himself, versus Clay Thompson. Who was a better shooter? Be honest with you, there's no wrong answer. There's no wrong answer, but I'm going to explain to y'all today why Clay Thompson is the better shooter. Now, we know Mr. Bit Shot, other than Robert Ori, Mr. Bit Shot Ray Allen, Mr. Clutch Ray Allen, uh, save half of LeBron's legacy. When he's in Miami, uh, 2013, one of the greatest shots in NBA history, game six, down by three, and he hits that corner shot, tie the game up, and derail them to a victory in game six versus San Antonio Spurs. The greatest shot, and honestly, probably the greatest shot in NBA history. Other than that, y'all didn't know Ray Allen was a slasher before all that, right? Before he was a spot up shooter. I didn't know Ray Allen was a slasher, was he? A person that can get to the bucket and literally post. He he was literally dunking on everybody when he was with Milwaukee. He wasn't a, just a great shooter. He was a great player overall. He was a person that slashed into the basket. Probably with the best free throw shooter of all time. <laughs> he was not just a spot up shooter where he, where he was on Boston in Miami. <laughs> He was a, a lot of things in Milwaukee. Great overall player. When he got to Boston, he broke Rich Mills' record. He made some clutch shots for Boston. Every time they faced Chicago, he literally burned Chicago with D. Rosen. He dropped 50 points. What was that, game four, I believe? I still think they lost, but he dropped 50 points. What, what nine threes? He made a big time shot at game one. That brought him to victory. No, game two, excuse me. Versus Chicago. <laughs> Made some big time shots. But Clay Thompson, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think Ray Allen could drop 37 in one quarter. He could, but not as the function of Clay Thompson's doing. I don't believe Ray Allen can drop 43 points with three dribbles. Yes, three dribbles. Clay Thompson also dropped 14 threes in three quarters. I don't think Ray Allen ever did that. Clay Thompson dropped 40 in two quarters, in one half. I didn't think Ray Allen ever did that. What I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, Clay Thompson is the best spot up shooter I have ever seen in my life. This man can go without dribbling the ball, just playing off ball, just giving him the ball in the corner. He will drain a three, time in, time out. <laughs> Ray Allen was great, but Clay Thompson is his next level. That's why Seth Curry and Clay Thompson are the best back shooting backcourt I ever seen in my life. I've never seen anybody, Clay Thompson, like like a person like Clay Thompson, shoot such a high level and defend at a high level like he is. That's why he's such a, he's he's so valuable to the Golden State Warriors. Y'all realize if Clay Thompson didn't get injured this year, y'all realize Golden State would be a top three West team right now. They would be a top three seed right now. I wouldn't be surprised they'd be number one seed right now. That's how great Clay, Clay Thompson is. Ray Allen was great. He was a great defender too. Not as great as Klay Thompson. And Klay Thompson, shooting wise, they both on and off. But when Klay Thompson's on, he's on. He doesn't miss. 37 in one quarter. 
43 points and three dribbles. He dropped, what was it, 30 points, almost 30 points in that one half in game five versus just LeBron and Kyrie in the company getting to us this team. He's a great sidekick with, with Steph Curry. Ray Allen was a really big part of the big three. But at first, it was first KG and Paul Pierce. He's not as valuable as KG. Klay Thompson is just close as valuable to the Warriors as Steph Curry is. Y'all see it right, right now. Y'all see how valuable he is right now. They miss him. If he was playing right now, there would be a top three, top two seat in the West. Contender. They would be contending. Imagine if LeBron had Klay Thompson. Come on, man. That's all I got today on Woods and Big Takes. Comment down below who y'all think is the best spot up shooter. Ray Allen or Klay Thompson. Like I said, it's no wrong answer. In my opinion, I think Clay Thompson. Man, these hoes got me sidetracked. This hoes got me sidetracked. Man, these hoes got me sidetracked. I don't even mind that. Man, this hoes got me sidetracked. These hoes got me sidetracked. Goddamn, I'm so.